The next question in this series is collection counter. In this question, they have just introduced us to a new function counter, which is available under the module collections. As you can see here, the at first they have just given us a list, and inside the list, as you can see, there are uh, the number one is been repeated many times. As you can see, the number one is repeated like two, uh, three times. Okay, so now they have used the function counter on this list, and what it returns it returns the number of times that particular number occurs in the list so here in this case the number one is repeated for three times so as you can see the number two is repeated for four times in this list the similar function we have to use in our code further so let's see the sample input okay so at first they have given us the number of shoes uh, the number of shoes and on the second line they have given us a list of size of uh, shoes which are available in the shop and here is the number of customers and yes this many are the customers and the customers have ordered uh, at first the customer have ordered the shoe of size 6 and the price of that shoe is 55 so here in this case the size is 4 and the price of shoe is 40 so in this explain given some instruction as you can see the customer 3 the size 6 is no longer available so no purchase here the customer third customer is now again asking for the shoes of size 6 as the shoes of size 6 are only 2 in this case so on already this size shoes are already been sold so no shoe is now available so we don't have to calculate the purchase and we don't have to calculate the price at that time and at last uh, for customer 6 the size 10 is not available so yeah the size 10 is not available so we don't have to store this price and at last all other prices are there and we have to take addition of all those prices so let's move to the code At first, we'll take input for this 10, uh, which is the number of shoes. We'll take this input in the form of integer. The second input we have to take, which is for the size of shoes. And that size of shoes are in the form of a list. So we take variable as stock. List and we have to map those and, and convert it into integers. input dot split and at next point we have to take input for the number of customers and now we have to take this many inputs which are six inputs depending upon this number of customers so we'll require for loop for that we have to run this for loop for k times and in this for loop we again have to take input for this size and for this price and we have to convert them into integer integer okay and now we we are going to use that function which is counter function and first of all we have to import that function okay so i'll copy this from collections import counter we can declare it over here and now okay so this function returns us in the form of a list so this is list 
there are vec key and value pairs in this list so we'll store it under the variable dict and we'll apply counter on the stocks so i have to take this down the stocks now it will work correctly counter n also will now require a variable to keep a count for price and will assign it first to 0 and now we'll use if to check the condition whether the whether that size is already in the list or not means to check with it's whether to check the size is available or it's not available so for that we'll write dictionary and in that if size exists and then and then only will crown count for price and now uh, at first we will now decrease that size from our existing stock we can do so just like this by one and now we will count the count that price and we will store that price under p and at last what we have to do we just have to print that price okay so we will submit the code oh, there is error okay 50 let's see code one time okay so here we have to just print pin and we'll submit it again okay so it worked for all test cases the solution for all other questions included in this python series are available on my channel if you have any query let me know it in comment section and also thank you guys for watching this video